Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing the top 10 Kickstarters of the month. Before I jump into this one, I do have a couple of friends who have Kickstarters, and of course me and my business partner who have uh, Kickstarters as well. Let's start out with my Kickstarter, like Father Like Daughter. It's about a high school girl. Father left her, become a full-time superhero. Everyone in the world loves him, except for her, and then she inherits his abilities. And then also my business partner, Phil, has a Kickstarter of his own as well, Haunting. It's about a young boy who has ghosts following him. He does not want to deal with it, so he does not. So if you enjoy horror superheroes, if you enjoy them together, we also have a crossover on both campaigns that you guys could go check out. Now let's jump into my friend's Kickstarters here. Uh, Tart issue 15 from Kevin. I love a good ongoing sprawling saga on Kickstarter. We don't get to see it enough. Even the direct market, there's so many books that reboot back to issue one. So it's nice to see a book that's issue 15 on Kickstarter. Uh, and this one's about a time traveling, strong female lead. And uh, honestly, every issue is a lot of fun, some great artwork for that as well. And if you're looking for the book too, it's also part of the direct market at Scout Comics. Moving on to Adventures of Clarity Girl Comic Expo Special. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's Clarity Girl and then uh, also some other heroes involved like Spider Squirrel, another friend of my Charlie. And they all cross over at exactly, again, what the title says, a comic con. So if you enjoy the comic con aesthetics and, and culture, you might really enjoy that one. Moving on to Kill an Air, which is actually drawn and written by my previous like Fall Like Daughter collaborator, Wayne Brown, and he is starting his own series. This is a murder mystery, and, and the title kind of spells it out of, of what you could expect, greed, money, uh, and, and murder. So definitely go check that one out if you enjoy the art styles of like Fall Like Daughter in issues one through seven. Now moving into the top 10 list, number 10 for me is Dumbing of of age the 12th book collection so this is a pretty long book as well so it's a, a webcomic which I love when Kickstarter has webcomics I, I love how it bleeds to different types of audiences to to create a physical version of these books and this is a odd couple type series where a Christian girl meets up with this orphaned lesbian and they become friends and and that's the story it's a slice of life story as well uh, so I love also seeing these characters and supporting characters grow because you have such a long saga to be told within a, a webcomic format and now being collected in in uh, in a paperback slash on Kickstarter. Moving on to number nine, which is our Faceless Fears issues one through three. The artwork really did this for me. It's a black and white book where it's just very haunting and it's very anime-esque as well, maybe because of the black and white, but it has to do with family secrets. It kind of has like this Victorian style to it. Uh, so if you like gothic ghost stories, check that one out. Moving on to number eight, which is The Berg. And this focuses on characters you normally don't get to see in stories, or at least in comic books. It's about sanitation workers and they become um, the main focus of this story and the thumbnail I like that it, it and just the art in general looks very different it looks gritty but still kind of has that bright flavor to it so that is number eight for me moving on to number seven which is grandma chainsaw issue one through two I'm a big fan of the slasher genre and let me tell you I, I haven't really seen the slasher genre from this point of view I don't want to spoil a certain movie but spoiler alert if you haven't seen X Maybe X is the only one that I've kind of seen this from, but this definitely takes more of a comedic spin. And uh, yeah, I, I love the idea of just seeing this grandma being a slasher and, and that's just totally up my alley. So that is number seven. Moving on to number six, which is Little Rock Files issue one. It has to do with a detective, a black detective in the 80s who also teams up with this witness and has to do with corruption of the police, which, you know, I think reflects what is going on during the time and reflects what's going on in modern times. So the artwork for this one is also really, really clean as well. And I'm very curious to see from the perspective or the perspective in general of, of this book. And I, I like a good, again, a good odd couple. So seeing a detective team up with a witness of a story is a, is a, a side of, of a of a story like this, a detective story that you don't really get to see as often. Moving on to number five, which is Love Not Found. This is volume three. Again, a lot of like sprawling sagas in, in this month's Kickstarters. And this one is a love story. I love a good romance. Kickstarter is really the one great place to find that where you might not see it in the direct market or at least uh, romance that's just central on, on romance. So with, with this one, we get to see that this is a world where you're not even allowed to touch each other. The romance is not really found. <clears throat> and 
we get to see this couple who obviously does end up finding romance through botany. So that's going to be a really colorful book if we also have plants involved. Moving on to number four, which is Badass Girl Saves the World issue one. It kind of has this Hannah vibe to it, except if Hannah actually left the wilderness and, and fought. I didn't watch the TV show, but I know the movie, they don't, it's, it's pretty much stayed in the wilderness. But it has to do with this girl who grew up in the wilderness and now has to, has to fight the world. So that's a, a really interesting, fun concept. And the artwork for this is so good. I, I love the style. It's a bit cartoony, almost Saturday morning cartoon styled. And, and the covers are really good for this one as well. Honestly, I feel like it, it deserves even, even more backers. I think it just a, looks like a really pretty book. Moving on to number three, which is Liminality. I don't know if I pronounced that right. A silent graphic novel about depression, something that many people go through. And I, I really love that it's a story that is just told by visuals and, and that, that little ghoul type monster that follows the main character around I think is very striking for a lot of people so this is an important book I you know the, this is this is a topic that again so many people deal with and and can't express a lot of times with words so to see that just let me show you what this is about I think is really really powerful moving on to number two which is Power Rangers, a 30th anniversary comic book celebration. I like that Boom has really bring, bring, been bringing a lot of their collections and just in general a lot more projects onto the platform. It brings more eyes, you know, Power Rangers fans that maybe never heard of Kickstarter, have never backed a campaign, are now backing stuff and saying, hey, I like this platform. Let me go back some other stuff. And as a Power Ranger fan, Boom fan, and, and Kickstarter fan, this kind of marries all the things I enjoy. And I'm glad they're, they're collecting things that aren't being collected in the other volume so, so I believe it's not just like the modern Power Rangers stories it's also previous Power Rangers books as well that are, that are being collected here. Moving on to number one which is Cristobal volume one. When this was announced I'm like this totally sounds up my alley. I, I really like Erica Schultz work. I, I enjoyed her Deadly Bouquet which ended up being in the direct market after and this uh, I love the story of this being like a, a poem that sh that she liked in college and she's like hey how about if I make a story about this and it has to do with a princess she's a warrior like how can you go wrong with that I, I love a good princess character that's also not afraid to fight and 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 kind of have that story so I just feel like this is a slam dunk the creative team is just you know, everyone I love. So very, very, very curious about this and very excited to read it as well. So that's my number one pick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Let me know in the comments below what are some books you're most excited for for this month. And of course, I'll have another video next month. Thanks, guys.